Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Adam RPG with me, Bring It On. Off camera, I realize that I don't have the correct weapons equipped. I won't need them anytime soon, but still, better to be prepared than, than not. A sturdily built guard gives you an inquisitive look and adjusts his grip on his old automatic rifle. He's clearly learned a thing or two about people during his years on the force. What are you looking for? Uh, nothing much. Just wanted to ask how how's the job treating you? Do you want to join the force? Well, you're out of luck. The draft is over, and the next one isn't happening anytime soon. I'm just curious. Uh, this is a big city. Where is its government located? A man gives you a long look before nodding at the building behind his back. Right here, in the Krasno Chamber of Commerce. Pave yourself and stay out of trouble, or I'll kick you out faster than you can say Jackoff Robin Robinzinski. Now let's exchange local rumors and gossip. Chit-chat isn't really my thing. Go find another ear to chew on. Well, I want to report a colleague of yours who's shaken down travelers for bribes. Just one? Fine. Consider your report officially submitted. Anything else? Alright, I'm just passing by. Good luck in your service. No, don't close it. Alright, so we've spoken to Claudia. Who are you? An untidy woman in her 30s, looking as if she had no time to check what she was putting on herself and just put on the first thing she grabbed out of her wardrobe. With a massive chin and annoyed, tired eyes, suddenly darts off and nearly bumps into you, barely holding a heavy pile of forms that look old and yellow, but have clearly been filled in recently. And when she overcomes her shock, she starts nervously and incomprehensively. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Buy glasses if your eyesight is weak. I have no strength as it is. I don't need weird people growing up in front of me, like uh, mushrooms after rain. Wait, are you by any chance a lawyer from Trudegrad I invited here last week? Are you looking for Katerina Mavrova? Because if you are, it's me. But wait, he couldn't have come so fast. Hmm, what do you want? I'm on the other side of the world from a lawyer. Uh, what are these papers? What do you need all these certi certificates for? The woman's nostrils flare with anger, and she starts pulling papers out of the pile frantically. Well, this one proves that I exist. This one confirms that the official who confirmed my existence is entitled to confirm such things. This one is a proof that I paid for his services. And this, no, I'm fed up. My brain will burn if I continue. <laughs> Bureaucracy is an important part of any system. Okay, anything else? I'll tell you what this pile of documents is. I've told you already, these are various documents that confirm each other's in my existence. Typical red tape that can drive anyone mad. Ah, of course. Okay, how about we change the subject? I could ask a couple of questions, for example. Okay, but only if the conversation is quick and I can re return to my business. Time is money. Are you from around here, or a visitor? Uh, what I wouldn't give to be a local resident. They need to file five forms fewer to obtain the status of an official supplier. I'm from the south. I see. Can I ask another question? A bit faster. Uh, what do you do in the city? I tried to establish a working place for me and my family, to found a company that would supply everyday essentials. But the red tape here is a disaster. It's like being... it's like beating against the wall. It's never been easy anywhere. Can I ask another question? Have you heard any interesting rumors? What freaking rumors are you talking about? One can break one's head trying to understand how to register a company here. You want me to listen to a bunch of nonsense and spread it around? I see. Uh, sorry for bothering you. I have another question. Uh, what do you think of the local bureaucrats? They're wonderful. Great people. Could be better. Screw them. So you like it here. Why would you... Why do you uh, look like a nightmare then? I have another question. I have no business with you. Have a nice day. Ten whole rubles, huh? There we go, she gets an alarm clock and two forks out of the deal. A finely dressed woman of around 40 nods to you in greeting. As you walk up to her, you notice that she has the most new looking and shiny shoes you've ever seen in your life. They're colored deep red, and even decorated with bright silver ribbons. Uh, yes? These shoes look so good, there simply must be a good story behind them. The woman smiles, showing somewhat yellowed but still healthy teeth. Haha, <laughs> not just any story, an action packed story for sure. 
My word. I would love to hear it. Oh, a lover of folktales, are we? Just like Shirk from that old movie, The Caucasus Captive. Anyway, uh, sometimes I work as a lawyer. So, one day I had to go oversee a deal being closed between a member of the Chamber of Commerce and some merchant. I went with a convoy on a truck through the mountain pass of Woes. At what moment of our trip, the driver, named Slavic, noticed that a storm was brewing in the mountains. Our driving further became dangerous, so we found a small house near the road. I ran to it and started hammering on the door. And then? After ten minutes or so, a toothless old hag opened the door for me. She had a huge crooked nose and a pointy hat. I started begging her to let us uh, sit in through the storm, but she just said a harsh no. Meanwhile, the wind became furious. Small trees were being bent to the ground. I was so desperate. I continued begging her to let us stay in her house, but instead of doing the right thing, she fished out a squirrel on a stick from her purse and started waving it around, yelling that she would curse me if I don't go away. Uh, the wind became almost unbearable by that moment. Continue listening in silence. I became so desperate, I even thought of simply overpowering that old hag and getting her in her house without an invitation. But then, in a terrible gust of wind, the top of her house collapsed. Crash. Slam. When the dust settled, only the old hag's legs were visible uh, in the rubble. Guess it was a good thing she didn't let us in after all. We had to wait out the storm inside the truck. We're like canned sardines, uh, all on top of one another in the tiny space. After the sky cleared, we searched the remains of the old hag's home. There, under her bed, I found these shoes. They're in a pre-war box, never open, never worn. She's probably saving them for her burial. So that's obviously a reference to uh, the Wizard of Oz. When the Witch of the East gets crushed by the house. Uh, let's see. You seem like a smart woman, but you shared a crap story. Bye. <laughs> a finely dressed woman of around 40 in shiny new shoes nods to you in greeting. Uh, yes? What is it this time? I'd like to have a chat. Can I answer some questions? I'm free, so why not? Uh, tell me about yourself. Ah, where's my etiquette? I'm Ella Ogorodova. I work as a bookkeeper for the Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Krasno. Quite a noble profession you got there. Uh, ask, please. How do you like your job? Well, I'm quite pleased by it. I work from home, from an office in the Chamber of Commerce building. I'm generally liked and well respected by my peers. I'm well educated, too. None of that modern word of, word of mouth teaching stuff. I have a real university degree. Now, that's quite rare. Another question. How's life in the city? I think it's okay. At least here in the center. There are even people who started believing humanity actually has a future. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm content with life as well. Well, why won't you believe in the future? If all's well. Another question. The woman smiles a friendly smile. Have you heard any good stories lately? They say an editor from True to Grad's finest print house is staying at the inn, together with a photo correspondent. What do they want to write about? I hope they'll ask me for an interview about bookkeeping. That just might happen. Now, another question. I've done the questions, let's change the subject, and that's it. I have to go by. Alright, the red shirt guy walked out once again. There he is. We have spoken to him. Right? I mean, his name is revealed. Was he the, um... The wasp hat guy? I think that he was. All right, let's start rummaging through the uh, Chamber of Commerce. An aged man with a neat beard and a clean, impressed suit looks at you strangely. After fiddling with his glasses, he asks you in a quiet, yet low voice, Yes? Can I help you? You look intelligent. That's rare. You think so? Maybe. Maybe. But I don't judge people just by the way they look. All I know is that I know nothing.
I was talking exactly about the way you look. Yes? Well, you're probably right. I have a beard, I have glasses. I really do look intelligent. <laughs> hey, I have a beard and glasses. Uh, the man lifts up the sleeve of his suit to look at his uh, Pobeda watch. Um, but now I have to depart. Have a good day. See you. I finally uh, combed old man fiddles with his glasses before addressing you. Uh, you want something? Yeah, a few questions if you don't mind. Well, I can spare a few moments. What would you like to know? Uh, tell me about Krasno. It's an old city, founded by the legendary Count Royevsky himself. A city that had many a name and many an owner in its time. But still it didn't change much. A place straight out of S Saltykov Shedrin novels, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, another question. You wanted to ask something else? Uh, how's life in this fine city? A good question. I still can't figure out how it works. But if you've done things down to a certain amount, you might say that the city is ruled by the Chamber of Commerce, with criminals as its left hand, and lawmen its right. And from the shadows, the Mushroom Society oversees all. Who is the true leader? I can't say. I see. Can I ask another question? Do you know anything about the happenings in the Wasteland? Only a little bit. Our Krasno, Paragon, and some other factions share this proverbial orange that is the Wasteland. There are lots of us and only one of it, after all. But you look like a person who knows it even better than I do. I see. Can I ask another question? I am all ears. Uh, maybe you heard some rumors. Just fragments, and I'm not even sure about those. For example, what should I think about the rumor that there are live nuclear weapons stashed in the eastern hills? Sounds like nonsense, but who knows? I wasn't there to check it. Interesting. Can I ask something else? Okay. Care to change the subject as you wish? Ah, it's time for me to leave. Bye. So despite looking intelligent, it doesn't seem like he had a, uh... He knew a whole lot. I wonder if I can lockpick this without getting caught. <laughs> I can! I'm really digging this, uh... Gilly suit. A tired and annoyed looking woman of around 30 sits at a desk, all the while calculating something using her abacus and writing the results into a small notebook. After she notices you, she closes her notebook and then looks at you with cold, with a cold, unfriendly stare. I'm listening. I wanted to ask you to make me a citizen of Krasno. The woman stares at you with a crazed gaze. You come here to pester a fourth level B rank official with such a question? How would I help you with becoming a citizen? It's not my job. Uh, sorry, I mistook you for someone. Care to change the topic? Oh, uh, what now? I've got, uh, I should have asked the other question. Oh well. I see by the way you look, you didn't get much days off. The woman looks at her, looks at a small calendar on her desk. It's mostly covered with all sorts of papers. According to it, your conversational partner had her last rest at her last rest 10 days ago. You want a crappy schedule. I'm sorry. Saying sorry won't buy me a bottle of wine I can drink alone while lying in front of the TV during my only day off. But money will... But money for overworking sure will. I agree. Care to change the subject? Oh, what now? I just wanted to chat. Care to answer some questions for me? Oh, sure. Talking to you is my new passion. What do you want? How should I address you? Radia Gennadievna, a 4th level B rank. An interesting title you got there. Another question. What do you do for the Chamber of Commerce? I calculate, I plan budgets, I prepare payment documents. What else would a 4th level B rank official be doing? Bookkeeping? Ha ha ha. I didn't get the joke. Next question. How's life in Krasno? A stupid question. Why are you asking? Do I look like I live somewhere else to compare? Are you planning to send me away from the city? What's your problem? Um, I don't have any problems. Another question then. What kind of rumors do you hear around the place? They say that the third department is going to be merged with the fifth. Thus, Chamber of Commerce officials from the fifth will get a new rank letter. Although those of them who worked using the BA-713 form will retain the old level number. So now the third department will consist out of third level A rank officials. Third level secondary A rank officials of the U sub rank and thirdly fifth level U rank officials. It's much more logical that way, you see. Well, I didn't get any of that. Another question? I care to change the topic. It's nothing. I'd better go. 
All right, shoot. Yeah, I messed up. I wanted to ask her who I was supposed to talk to about becoming a citizen. Never learned his name. Okay. It's probably for the best. Now, there's an unknown machine standing before you. If you knew something about old tech, you might have even recognized it. Well, I'm just a big old dum dum, so. I did not recognize it. Cumbered. That won't do. Luckily for me. I'm still encumbered. Just barely, though. Well, I probably don't need all that scrap metal. I need to go visit a merchant. The inventories have reset by now because I wasted so much time watching movies. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go talk to this guy real fast. Drop off the waste paper. I just need to remember that I need to go into this room, talk to that guy, talk to this guy, and then head below. And that should be... Yeah, and that's all the NPCs on this level. But it's a whole other level. Alright. Making the big bucks. Great, okay, more waste paper. I wonder if he'll see me here. Well, I guess not. All right, we got more waste paper to sell. Let's go take care of that real fast. <laughs> oh, so we're getting really close to leveling up as well. Well, about 600 experience, I guess. 602 experience. Right, I did look at that right. 21, 22, yeah, okay. 602. We've gained a ton of experience here in Krasno. Granted, it's been in like a bunch of like little small amounts, but it it all adds up. Just from talking to the NPCs, now, I even missed a couple of opportunities at more experience, like seducing that one housewife and um, potentially talking to the woman that I talked to this episode. I forgot to ask her where I needed to go to get uh, citizenship. Let's talk to this fine fellow. Wait. Oh. Fantastic. A mustache city official bends over several documents. When you come closer, he slowly backs away and lifts his gaze while putting his goose feather he used for riding aside. Ah uh, yes, can I help you? I'd like to become a citizen. Oh, that's not my department. Try talking to another colleague of mine. I'm sure you'll find help with this matter quickly. Listen, amigo. 
This is useless. Getting something from the Krasno bureaucracy uh, is like hoping for terrain in a desert. That may happen sometime, but it's doubtful you'll last for that long. Oh, that's completely unfair. We're working like a well-oiled mechanism. Uh, what are you doing here? I mean you personally. We control the bureaucratic processes here in Krasno and surrounding areas. Personally, I work with uh, currency control. Is that a problematic position? Uh, not really, but sometimes new scams appear and threaten all of the wastes. The last big attempt at destroying the economy happened way back in the 90s, when some people tried to start using pine cones, rocks, bottle caps, and other kinds of garbage instead of currency. And what's your job all about? Well, known regions of the wasteland still use pre-war rubles, but its actual price is different in every other region. The fact that we don't have a golden standard doesn't help. I'm here to learn of the money costs in different lands, so that our traders won't get scammed during the real deal with representatives of another country or region. Um, I see. Care for a change of subject? Uh, what else? Uh, just a few uh, questions to ask. Oh well, I guess I could do that. How's life in Krasno? I'd advise... I'd advise you to talk with the head of propaganda about that. Oh. What? Go with my personal opinion. I think everything goes really smoothly. Under the grand leadership of the Chamber of Commerce, we reached uh, great results, and soon, if I heard it correctly, that is, we'll even be ready to be rebuild communism. It might take a while, though. Uh, sure, can I ask another question? Uh, do it quickly, please. Now, anything interesting goes on in the city? Interesting means unsafe nowadays. That's why I'm happy to state that nothing interesting ever goes on in our fine city. If you want adventure, head on straight to Paragon. Nothing right about that place. All messed up. I see. Can I ask another question? Any problems the town has? Problems? Uh, none as far as I know. Well, apart from the dancing plague e epidemic that we had five years ago. Do you know 400 people dance on the city streets for several days and nights until they drop dead out of exhaustion, malnutrition, and or organ failure? Nobody knows why. Yeah, what a story. Well, here's another question. Uh, maybe you heard some rumors. No. Address some kind of a drinking establishment if you're interested in hearsay. We are a serious organization. Too bad. Can I ask something else? Let's change the subject. What else? Nothing special. I'll leave you to your work. Alright, pink-cheeked and balding man in his 40s greets you with a wide smile. Considering the circumstances, his friendly attitude is a surprise. Because judging by his posture, armor, and the menacing weapon in his hands, you're talking to a guard and a very special one. Hello friend, are you lost? There's nothing of any interest around here, just me and the entrance to the governmental bunker. I was just going to ask about that, about the bunker. The guard narrows his eyes and smiles cunningly. Oh wow, what kind of do you interest in our humble little bunker? Oh, come on man, let me in, it's business. The guard smiles, his expression is still friendly, but also a bit cunning. I know this fire in your eyes, it's about politics right? You have some initiative to push with the Chamber of Commerce. A bribe to hand over. To win a tender, perhaps. I think I could, I could get distracted for a few moments. Long enough for you to slip inside. But it's risky for me. Let's set a price of 7,000 rubles. I'll turn a blind eye, and you follow your ambitions and talk to the right people. Well, that's daylight robbery, my man. I'm thinking if half that amount would be fair. Without a second thought, the guard agrees with a smile. No problem. I'm no monster. I think you're an alright person, too. 3500 and the bunker is your playground. Great. Now let's change the subject. Let's change the subject. Uh, let's have a chat. Uh, why not? It's so boring around here. Uh, who are you? I guard the governmental bunker. Why else would I be standing here, friend? That uh, makes sense. I have another question. Tell me about your work. No one has risen up against the establishment for quite a while now. The guys from the bunker haven't given the locals a reason to disembowel them lately either. So there's nothing interesting going on, really. Still, duty is duty, and double overtime is double overtime. Stability is a pain. I have another question. Uh, ask all you want. Uh, tell me about your work. Already said that. Uh, tell me about the city. It's a good place to live. Big and peaceful. From time to time, some cryptocurrency trader or plain old lunatic starts causing trouble. But otherwise, it's great, if a bit dull. What matters is that you have a peace. Another question. Have you heard any good rumors lately? Only from my wife. 
She hates gossip, but always seems to be repeating it to me anyway. She wants me to tell her uh, whether this stuff is true. How the heck am I supposed to know that? Here's one of the latest. The merchants have some toy called Stalin's Rebus. It's a puzzle like a Rubik's Cube. Rumor has it that if you solve it, it will grant you unimaginable pleasure. Other people say devils will pour out of the thing and slice you up like a piece of ham. Creepy. Another question. Let's change the subject. I better go. by. So we can't actually get into the... Chamber of Commerce. I remember having to pay. I guess if I had a, the right quest, they just let me write on in. But I don't have the right quest yet. Well, good news is I think we're done with all the NPCs in Krasno for now. Uh, there's one more NPC that appears when I hit level 10, I believe. Might be level 12. I'm pretty sure it's level 10. We'll have a new NPC here to talk to, and then obviously all the NPCs in the Chamber of Commerce bunker when we gain access to that. But for now, we can leave. And the project, the generator should be done at Red Fighter, so we'll head there, take care of that. I know I still have that quest. Again, I don't think it's actually timed. Well, we can turn this into the rider real fast. But I have this other quest. Um, should be down this way. Yeah, this one right here. Again, I'm pretty sure it's not timed. Because this is a repeatable quest. He gives you a unique name each time, but I think the names eventually start repeating. And that's how I figured out that it's a repeatable quest and not like a, a linear quest line. Alright, tall man in his 30s with a long melancholic face and a rickety back bows to you slowly and rises slightly on his stool. Hello, hello. Let's talk about my dick. Or just talk. Let's talk about your dick. Any news? Did the bull succeed where Jupiter failed? Uh, don't get up, mate. I did it. Your stories will come out. The rider's lower lip starts shaking. He falls on his knees, hurting both of them but stifles the cry of pain, and bows awkwardly. I don't even know what to say. My dreams about dick have come true. While I was waiting for you, I thought about it over and over, and I must make myself believe the future was imminent, or the failure was imminent. And what do I, and what do I hear? My dick, in a book. And such a famous book at that. This is the happiest day of my life. Please take this. I was saving up to buy a rope, a piece of soap, and a bleacher, but I won't need them now. The man falls back on his stool and gives you a hundred ruble bill and a shaking hand. The circuit of your first fee is to pay the rent, and only after that go to the crack house. <laughs> I keep it in mind, maestro. I'm delightful to see you're so happy, but it's not much in terms of payment. Perhaps you should add something on top, don't you think? Um, yes, sure. I might feel a bit hungry until I get my royalties, but imagination thrives where body suffers. Here, another 50 rubles. This is all I have. Marginally better. Thank you. I could do with some money. Gupstav gives you the money with a guilty smile. I'll spend it on something useful. Well, goodbye, Ryder. He does have an inventory. What has he got? I'm pretty sure that's all stuff that I traded him, so... Ooh, a special forces helmet. For 11,000, almost 12,000 rubles. We can't afford that. I can't afford another steel breastplate, though. I'd still have enough money left over. Yeah, let's grab this. We can also do some trading in exchange for it, so let's do that. Don't need the Siggy, don't need the nails, don't need the gunpowder.
Oh yeah, I have no idea when that lottery thing is. I should have come back and talked to that guy. I may have missed my chance already. I really don't need this either. I mean, we have nine personality. So I'm going to sell that. Usually you don't know when personality checks happen anyway, so there's no way to like plan ahead. I can use it to boost my speech craft, but I'm not that worried about it. Do something like that. With our new armor, we can give that to Hexogen, right? Yeah, everybody has to steal, steal breastplates already. Give that to me, and I'll sell that real fast. Alright, cool. Then let's see if I can give him one mushroom at a time. Or if he needs all 50 at once. Nope. Need all 50. Let me look at my quest one more time. I do need to go into the Chamber of Commerce bunker. Weird that I can bring that up for the quest to get inside. Oh well. Not a big deal. But for now we are done in Krasno. Kinda sad we couldn't finish up the actual Chamber of Commerce, because he give we get at least one more quest down there. It's one that we can knock out because we have to go to the circus still anyway. We have a ton of quests to do in Paragon, so Paragon won't be very boring because again we have we have a lot to do. Red Fighter is my priority, and then we'll go to the Roaring Forest, take care of that, um, well, towards the Roaring Forest, I guess, take care of that bandit quest that the uh, police chief gave us. I guess that's it, so. At least in that direction. Obviously, we have Plenty of other stuff to do. We have a lot of those miscellaneous locations to explore as well that I've ignored up to this point. But I, again, I was trying to wait for the last companion. So if there's any fighting, he gains that experience. Because I'm trying to optimize experience gain across the board. But I'm still, I'm pretty sure when we recruit him, he'll be a higher level than we are and my other companions. Is there what? Seven, six, and nine. But alright, we did it. We finished Krasno for now. Uh, there's only a few handful of NPCs within the Chamber of Commerce bunker. I want to say it's probably like five or six. So, when we get the opportunity, again, I'm pretty sure Quest will take us there and we won't have to pay our way in. Because I don't remember having to pay to go inside the Chamber of Commerce bunker. That's, uh, that's new to me.
All right, but off camera, I'm going to head towards Red Fighter, so I'll meet you guys there in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.